So between the devil and the angel, somebody stole all the bourbon out of my mini barrel. Let's take a look. following along on my mini barrel bourbon aging adventure. I'll put uh, link part one here where I put uh, five and a half or so bottles of Buffalo Trace White Dog Weeded Mash into my barrel. And part two over here was after a month of aging, we took a look at uh, the product. And at that time I said, wasn't quite ready. I was going to wait another month before I brought you all back and let you see where we stood. After two weeks of being back behind me here in the bar, I went to move the barrel to put it out in the sunroom as I had in the previous month to help mimic the change of seasons. It's cooler out there. It's warmer in here. But when I picked up the barrel, it was shockingly low on volume. You could just feel that there wasn't very much left in it. Um, I probably should have known something was going on because my, my bar smelled terrific. It smelled like a Rick house. If you've ever been to one of the uh, distilleries, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I should have been clued into the fact that I was losing volume either through evaporation, the angel share, or absorption into the barrel itself, the devil's cut. Um, man, the two of them really did a number on me. Because so it was a tremendous loss. You know, as I said, I put five and a half bottles or so of this in, and all I got back was one full bottle and one about two thirds full, and that was it. Now, another issue that I quickly found is with so much evaporation, the proof, uh, I don't know exactly what it is now, but the proof increased dramatically. And I don't mind a good barrel strength um, bourbon, but this one is, is really to the point, I don't want to say it's undrinkable, but it gets your attention. Great color as you can see. A little more complex after two more weeks. Less oaky than it was before, both in smell, and I did cheat a little bit, I had some of this before, and in taste. But it's immediately, I mean, you feel it hit you. Almost a little overpowering. You're not, you're not able to get the complexities of the flavor because you're just getting hit bam with the alcohol right away. It's kind of a pleasant burn going down. But I, I think that I'm losing some of the subtleties that I would like to have with just the straight barrel strength. So this bottle, I added, I don't know, maybe... 20 milliliters or so of purified water to bring the cast strength down. Now this is the first time I'm having this. Much, much less aggressive on the nose Sweeter, again, not as oaky as it was before. But you can, you can smell the wheat, even a little leather in there, I guess. No, for the taste. Yeah. Much, much smoother. <laughs> really quite enjoyable. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. And while I probably will leave this one as full cast strength just to say I've got it. This seems to be the ticket. This is really good. I mean, it's got a very refined bourbon flavor, a pleasant color. You can taste the background flavors, the wheats, a little bit of pepper on the back end. Sweeter on the front end. A 
very nice sipping bourbon. This one could stand up really well to mixing, but but I'm really pleased with adding the water here. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I will go out and do this again using probably Buffalo Trace mash number one, their corn mash, just to mix it up a little bit. But I will definitely do that. I'll put five bottles into the next version of this and then top it off with purified water because I think that's the way to go. Um, I wanted to do it this way using the, the full barrel strength, but it's, it's clear that at least for, for me, uh, having it, having the proof reduced a bit is the way to go. Well, I can sit here drinking this all day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. So, uh, if you've enjoyed this, hit the like, subscribe, and bell button, and I'll see you again soon here in the arena.